Today I want to talk about patch panels and weld shrinkage. What I got here is just a flat piece of paper and, and this is to simulate say a bedside on a pickup truck and if we put a patch panel here where our floor came in and welded to the side it's normally a dirt trap moisture trap and it causes rust. So if we were to put a patch in there to, re to repair this bedside whether we're welding one dot at a time or doing a continuous weld you're going to have the weld shrinks up when it goes to cool so as that occurs on a seam like this a seam like this you'll have the each weld pulling together pulling together and when you get into a tight corner like this you've got forces coming from this way forces from that way pulling together you'll normally see a pucker coming diagonally from the corners. Uh, one way to help leave, alleviate some of that is to cut a radius here instead of a straight 90 degree corner. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show is how the panel reacts. When this weld shrinks, it pulls together. You normally won't see this at the weld, but this is our unaffected area that remains cool. It's trying to stay flat. As the weld shrinks and pulls together, you'll get a buckle uh, that pops up and down here. It kind of forms a wave as this extra metal is trying to find some place to go. So the way we fix the problem is you leave this alone and you fix the cause the weld shrinking and pulling together is what puts that wave in there. So we need to planish the welds with a hammer and dolly uh, completely one end to the other all the way around that perimeter. And as soon, as soon as you start that process, you'll see that these waves, up and down waves here, will start to relax and go flat again. So that would be the correct way to get rid of the buckles that you see after you've welded a patch panel in.